Controversy at USC, the university announces its valedictorian will not be speaking at the commencement next month. This morning, students are speaking out about the decision. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel is live at the campus with the latest. Jaysha. John Asna Tabassum is a pro-Palestinian USC student who was also named valedictorian, and the school is banning her from speaking at commencement in May over safety concerns. Take a look at your screen. This is a picture of Tabassum, and she's majoring in biomedical engineering with a minor in resistance to genocide. Now, the Daily Trojan USC student newspaper reports that the cancellation comes less than one week after a pro-Israel group accused Tabassum of being anti-Semitic. Some have raised questions about Tabassum's pro-Palestinian view. She's posted online through a link on her social media, and critics say it calls for the complete abolishment of the state of Israel. USC's provost in a campus-wide letter said, quote, to be clear, this decision has nothing to do with freedom of speech. There is no free speech entitlement to speak at a commencement. The issue here is how best to maintain campus security and safety, period. But some students on campus tell us they don't think the university's decision is fair. I think she should fully have the right to speak. She has earned it. 100% being valedictorian of USC is no joke. She, you know, she earned it 100%. Just because she believes something or says something online does not take away her right to free speech. Tabassum released a statement through the Council of American Islamic Relations saying, quote, I am both shocked by this decision and profoundly disappointed that the university is succumbing to a campaign of hate meant to silence my voice. I am not surprised by those who attempt to propagate hatred. I am surprised that my own university, my home for four years, has abandoned me. This is the first time the school has banned a valedictorian from speaking. In University Park, Jaysha Patel, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Jaysha, thank you very much for that live update.